Hey everybody, welcome back! It's day four, also known as uh, the fourth day in a row. I'm wearing the same black shirt. Weird, I should really change or do some laundry or something. I'm recording them all on the first day, okay? You got a freaking problem. It's called Backlogging, sweetheart. Not, that's a great song from the 70s. Backlogging around the stars. Come on! That's space trucking, but it's the closest thing that popped into my head. Just so happened to be the best song in the world. Um, oh, well, I think I, I think I maybe screwed it up. I did screw it up. There we go. Today we're playing TPC Scottsdale. Creating a new match and beginning our round. I guess I had a saved matches. Probably, here's what I guarantee happened. I was playing this in like 2018 and uh, had a match going and then got like a triple bogey and alt F4. That sounds like me. Okay, John. And we are at a fine course here at TPC Fine course. We have a first hole par four. Ooh. Let's get into it. First hole par four. Okay. Um, you love to see it. Give me a, put me on a straight and narrow here. Beautiful stroke. Good, good stuff. Get that natural slice worked out. So good for this one. Get that natural slice worked out. If I remember, TPC Scottsdale's got some good courses. It's got or some good holes, I should say, because it is a course. So chipping is always a little difficult. Um, it's one of the touchier shots in the game, but. Everything else is going to be way too far. I think chipping is the shortest shot. Maybe ah, you know what? I think I prefer the I prefer the lob wedge flop, and we're gonna aim for maybe like sixty five percent. So I just want to see the backstroke. We we got ninety percent, so mission failed. But it's it's hard to do because you gotta eyeball that backswing. You know what I mean? Okay, we got a forty footer here, so uh, just Good take luck. a breath and and see what you can do. You know what? <laughs> you shouldn't do this on a golf course, okay? People will be very upset with you. The roll of the green matters way more than the actual. Uh, Than the actual wind, so I think we want to hit it close to close to 100. Honestly, that might have been better than our putt. It does ruin the green for the next guy, but I don't care because this is a digital world. You should see some of the things I've done in Grand Theft Auto. I'll take it. And in the, and hole. In the hole. Thank you, John. Thank you. It's not a bad start. Our approach was bad, but coming off up. On the last one. Let's see thanks, what happens thanks. here. Thanks. Okay. This is. Oh, it's not quite a uh, green in one situation. Beautiful shot. Oh, the crack of the club, the smell of the grass. It's the closest I get to going outdoors mid quarantine. Sweet. Dude, so when one word will. Why say many word when one word will do the trick? Sweet. We're flopping. I wanna flop it with you. We're flopping. I think we could get away with the nine iron uh, pitch on this one. I think it's it's not gonna be as affected by the wind. A little fast. That's okay. I think I could use that natural kind of bleed to the left on this one. Um, still not great, but looking at a nineteen foot putt from here. About about average for my approaches. This is a real tough one. I mean, we're putting a lot of sauce on this, but I think it's applicable. Just get in there. Little heavy on the sauce. We we oversauced it. I acknowledge that. But we're hanging in there. Nicely done for the par. He's so positive, dude. Even when we get a triple Let's bogey, he's like, whatever. Staying at par after that one. Well, uh, just letting you know it's a bit windy out there, so keep appreciate the appreciate the heads up. It is a little bit windy out there. I don't think we're gonna end up in the sand trap. I, I feel very confident about this. Just a beautiful, beautiful, pretty much straight front and back. A little Sherwood hockey stick at the end, but that's okay. Can't ask for too much better than that. Still got eight mile an hour winds. But a, a normal lob wedge shot. 
It's tough because the wind is going to take this like a son of a gun. But you know what? I, I feel like I'm in the zone. I trust my caddy on this one. The wind did take it, but I think we dropped quite nicely. Playing there. That's, with, uh, on the green in under regulation. Well with done. an eagle chance. And only a slight bend. Oh! John, hold me! Hold me! We almost had the eagle. This one for birdie. But I'll take the the one tap for birdie. No problem. No problem on that one. All right, that hole will bring you down to one under par. Feels good. All right, par three. Coming up. Hold your shot. breath. Seven mile an hour winds. That's tough. That's tough. I want to be right around here. It's got to be a perfect stroke. It's got to be a perfect stroke. It is nine feet up. I still believe in this. I'll take that stroke. Oh, we got a little bit more. The wind took it more than I thought it would. But all things considered, okay, the green. not that bad. Say that. And if this drops, you'll get your birdie here. Don't jinx me, John. I got to go to a putt school. Four feet. <laughs> the thing that hurts is I'm, I'm usually not off by a little. Like, I'm usually off by quite a lot. Fifth hole coming up. But in, in various different ways. All right. The, you know, I, I think I like this shot. Sometimes you just like what the caddy picks out for you. Oh, beautiful. It's like playing X-Plane. My slice was relevant, but not that bad. We'll find ourselves on the fringe. We'll do a little bit of quick mental arithmetic. We got about 90% power on this. Any any chance for a... Looking for like a... Oh, we're not getting anything on a flop. So I think a, a pitch at nearly full power is definitely what we want here. Or legitimately full power. It was really good, actually, except for the slice. I got to figure out. I'm pushing forward too fast. I got to, like, just release it forward. So we got a little bend to the left. That feels right to me. Not enough. Oh, don't. Come on, John. You didn't think that was going in. If you think that's going in, you're as dumb as I am, brother. Oh, come on, it's sweet. All oh, that's holy. Come on. Come on, man. And a decent little putt to end this one. A bogey on that one is going gonna, is gonna to haunt my every waking hour. That's okay, though. It's okay. That's, that's what makes this the sport of kings. Oh. That was a swing. I'm I'm on the drive, I got no complaints. I even ironed out most of the of my natural slice. Now you want a little chip on the pitching wedge? It's gonna be a little bit over here. The wind's not gonna take it, the green's gonna take it. It's gonna way over bounce. But we were in competition there. We had a chance here to be this there. Putt for the bird. This putt sixteen. 19 foot putt for birdie. It's a tough one. I think we got to go more left than right. But not by much. Way too much power. Oh, man. And just misread the green. All right, this one for par. Da, 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 da. You could hear it in John's voice. He's disappointed. He's disappointed! <laughs> Come on! Give me like a homing ball. I need a homing ball, dude. My short game is like... It's, it's falling apart. Oh. Par three. Okay, this is what you love to see. You love to see this. 
Even with the wind, this is a potential. If we get the stroke right, remember, it took a little bit more than we expected. Oh, very slow, fast. I got in my own head. That was, that was terrible. I held the backswing way too long, obviously. I mean, you saw. <laughs> Sorry, right. this seems like... The caddy drew this one up properly. This is going to get us pretty close. Maybe a five-footer. And that's decent. Little six-footer here, nothing too scary. Well, in my world, that's a five-footer, but... I don't know how you feel about it, John. Smooth motion. Get in there for par. And that'll keep you at one over. We're one over, but with plenty of opportunities. Okay, see what happens here on this God, these videos are just four. flying by, dude. So this is a par four with a real chance to get in there. I think the slice will not inhibit us there. You love the bounce. We're in a little divot. I think we're shooting into the wind, which is actually really nice for us. Oh, well, the wind is actually at our back, which is not great for us, but... And I think I think you go full power on the lob wedge flop. I think the lie kind of affected us. But you can see, if we had been on the right vector, that was a whole... Well, it was an Four eagle. Feet to the hole. You can do this. Four feet to the hole for birdie. An absolutely beautiful execution. We brought ourselves back right, down. To even, to even with a par five remaining. Nice bird on that last oh, par four Let's remaining. Ladies and gentlemen, wish me luck, please. Pretty good stroke. It's a nice looking shot. I am getting better. It's unfortunately we're peaking mid season. I would really like to carry some of the, that momentum from the start if possible. But okay, lob wedge pitch. I think is as probably as good as it's gonna get. Um, we want to not hit at 100%, which is always a little spicy. So it's not that affected by the wind, but it's very affected by where it lands. So I think something like... I think something like that... Something like that, you know, pretty much bang on. Okay, here we go. 75? I, I, it wasn't right, but it's so hard to hit in the middle that I'm not too upset. When they gave me that camera angle, I thought for sure we had just gotten it. All right, it's an eight footer. And late. Oh, man. All right, let's sink this and head to the clubhouse, hey? Well, not the best way to finish out, but at least you can kick back in the clubhouse. Got a plus one. I, I genuinely thought we had the the even lockdown. Oh, <laughs> it hurts. It hurts. But thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did, click the like button. It does help out a great deal. That's why I keep hammering at it. And hey, maybe I figured out where I'm at. I'm a scratch golfer, more or less. Uh, for now, if you enjoyed it, please do click the like button. It helps me out more than anything else you could do on this video. I appreciate all the support, subscriptions, comments, etc., etc. You can also watch these simultaneously or even uh, watch them back to back. They are very fast. Go into my channel, go into Dan's channel, go into Mouse channel, which are both linked in the video description below. And of course, goldengoblet.net to figure out where we're all standing this week. Maybe everybody else is capitulating too. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. See ya!